Welcome to the project demonstration of RC Bots control for uh, river water quality monitoring system. So this bot can float on the water river and this can be controlled through this RF remotes. So we can control the robot operations forward, backward, left, right, four directions it can be controlled. And while uh, traveling on the water surface, the robot starts sending the water quality parameters. So for the pH, we are going to use this green color pH sensor and DO, so D, uh, dissolved oxygen sensor, we are using this. And for the temperature, DS18B20, which is a waterproof sensor and next turbidity, we are using this one. So total four sensors will get the uh, four parameters that will be uploaded to the cloud platform to the ThinkSpeak. So, so this is the ThinkSpeak page. After logging to that, we can see this water quality monitoring. Just click on that. So there we get the graph presentation. So these are the parameters. So from the top, this is a pH while scrolling above this blue and below this above box. So like this, no need to touch this. So if you touch, this will be changes the fields. So now field one is a pH, field two is a temperature in degree centigrade and the next turbidity in uh, NTU and next DO in milligrams per liter. So these are the previously uploaded parameters. So we can get the fresh after uh, deleting these things. So coming to this interfacing connections. So we have interfaced these four sensors to the Arduino Uno. So here we can observe. So this is going to be the dissolved oxygen sensor amplifier circuit board. So we have connected that to this one and the output was given to the directly Arduino Uno board. And the next PS sensor. So here we are using the PS sensor amplifier. This is a PS sensor amplifier. And uh, as we discussed, this is going to be the dissolved oxygen sensor amplifier. And the next, directly we have interfaced the uh, DS18B20 temperature sensor directly to the Arduino Uno board without any driver circuits. And but coming to this uh, turbidity sensor, so we have interfaced that with the help of the turbidity amplifier, so which we placed over here. Sorry, right. So there we connect the. This is the turbidity sensor amplifier. So after that. The output is given to the Arduino Uno board. So there, this is the Arduino Uno board which we get the input from the sensors. And also it will read the input from this RF receiver module. So the below green color PCB is the RF receiver module. And to control the row of board movements by taking the input of the RF receiver. So we have interface the L293D motor driver. So this is the L293D motor driver which is used to control the directions of this board. And next to upload the data to the ThinkSpeak, we are making use of this ESP8266 module. So which is used to upload the data to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. The whole system getting power supply from this uh, 12 volt 1 amp battery. So this 12 volt 2 amps. So we are using, you can observe that. So each uh, battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries. So these 3 are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and these 2 are in parallel. So we will get 12 volts 2 amps. So in order to recharge that battery, so this is the connector to charge the battery. So we need to connect this over here. Right, so we have written here. So B to this B slot and T for the transformer slot. So we by providing the 230 volts AC input to this power cable. So this charging circuit will convert the AC to DC and that was given input to the battery through these two diodes. The, the, these two diodes purpose is to block the current flow from the battery to the transformer when it is fully charged. So it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours. Means for the duration we should on the charger for the 8 to 10 hours after that you can disconnect the charger and you, know, you can uh, switch off the power supply to the charging circuit now and next so here we are using this lm2596 so this is the lm2596 which is uh, work as a buck converter to regulate the 12 volts dc power supply to 5 volts dc power supply which is the operating voltage of our uno board along with our sensors boards so this was tuned to the 5 volts output so this is the main on off switch so everything was fixed okay and uh, we'll ship the project in this manner Right. So we used to ship the project in this manner while we are demonstrating this on your water surface then place this 
and hang on the back side of this board so it will be fixed over here so then we have everything was glued uh, to make the waterproofing one so these sensors will be fixed into that and coming to the pH sensor so for pH monitoring purpose just we need to remove this so for this one we can see one bubble which is very sensitive right on this one there will be one bubble that's very sensitive so we should take care of that while demonstration so for final demonstration we should remove this so let us show you the demonstration and next coming to the dissolved oxygen also there we can see one electrode I will show you that right so then the white color cap should be removed gently right so there we have placed one transparent sheet so this is will act as a dissolved oxygen measuring uh, transparent sheet between the sensor as well as the water so for better results we need to dissolve, mix this KCl potassium chloride in a water and uh, we can use this one membrane sheets so these are sets we are providing for extra so place that without any bubble so I am providing this uh, instruction sheet also for the dissolved oxygen sensor how to demonstrate that fix it to the sensor done so these are the only two things we need to take care of while demonstrating uh, to get the readings from the sensors so let us see demonstration and the one more main important thing is before switching on the kit I am repeating that take care of these two sensors first of all and uh, next uh, keep the batteries fully charged and then after switch on the hotspot I right, change the hotspot name to 5239 so project P-R-O-J-E-C-E-T 5239 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 129 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so this is very important this purpose is to send the data from our kit to the things peak it needs a data along with uh, hotspots for that purpose we are running this one so if you want you can change the hotspot name of your home router to the same IP address so uh, to the same name and the uh, like SSID and password after that enable the data also and now you can switch on the kit so just I want to place this yes yes so I am placing this for the DO and pH sensor right so now you can see one device was connected on your phone and now log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform right so we got the data so it will be data will be uploaded for it every duration of uh, 15 seconds because the ThinkSpeak can accept the data for every 15 seconds only and to get the fresh data so it is looking clumsy so you can download the previous data for that data import exports and in that download the data So open that so after opening that it will open the excel sheet format the date and time along with how many entries till now it was taken and a pH temperature and a turbidity and a DO, DO, DO oxygen so the other parameters we are going to get that and then next for a clear go to channel settings follow the steps very carefully don't do any other changes only do clear channel okay okay and go to private view private view to see the data channel settings to clear the channel data import export to download the data so stay right we get the fresh data over here so for the remote controlling connect this so anyways we will provide the extra battery also all right and now as we said this is a reverse backward left and forward so the forward movement left moment you can see that so that will be backward and this is for nothing but left side backward and right side so let us see on the water so after placing this in the water we should take care of the wedge and alignment properly after that you can execute that so it's forward okay and backward and left sorry right side On the left side right thank you